No regrets and no bitterness. Governor Neil Abercrombie says when he leaves office in 10 days, the state will be in better shape than when he found it. The longtime Hawaii lawmaker spoke to our Andrew Pereira today, who joins us with more now. Andrew. Yanji and Paula Abercrombie spoke candidly about his political battles and his decision to hold a special session for same sex marriage. In 2010, Neil Abercrombie received a standing ovation as he became Hawaii's governor. Four years later, he counts down his final days in office, only the second chief executive since statehood to lose re-election. But Abercrombie is far from bitter. This office, uh, any of the public offices I've held over the past five decades, um, uh, certainly is not mine. It's, it's, it's the gift of, of, of the public. It's the gift of the people of Hawaii. If I don't do anything between During his career, Abercrombie served in the State House, the City Council, the State Senate, and of course, more than 20 years in the U.S. House of Representatives. His time as governor was marked early on by a revenue crisis, which led to a public battle with the teachers union and an unpopular proposal to tax pensions of $100,000 or more. I'm not sorry about anything that I did in terms of decisions I made. I regret that I wasn't able to succeed in uh, having everybody conclude that that was a sacrifice uh, in one issue or another that, uh, that we had to make for the, for the greater good of the greater number for the, for the long term in Hawaii. Abercrombie leaves office with unemployment the lowest since 2008, a long-term plan to pay down the state's unfunded liabilities and same-sex marriage now legal. He believes the historic measure would have failed during a regular legislative session. About halfway through or a couple of weeks into it, the leadership would have come and said, look, we can't, we can't deal with this. None of the rest of the work is being done. Through his many years of public service, Abercrombie says he's seen politics change, and not for the better. He believes money needs to be taken out of the equation with each candidate having the same amount of funds. He also objects to what he calls political absolutism, where compromise has been replaced by confrontation. There's no... There's no uh, recognition of anything um, uh, other than complete fidelity to what we want. And if you, we don't get it, not only will we not support you, but we'll denounce you. At 76, Abercrombie says he still has more to give to his beloved state. And don't count him out just yet, should the Democrat Party need a candidate with moxie. You know, you never can tell when, when, uh, when uh, uh, there'll be uh, a demand made when a draft comes. Abercrombie has created a political consulting firm he calls Pacific Strategies. He says he's not presumptuous to leave a note in the governor's desk for David Ige. He said Ige will have to make his own decisions on what it means to be governor. Paula Yunji.